There was a time when people boarded with this plasterboard, but every plumber's seen samples of plasterboard, instances where the water has got down through the back. Even with moisture resistant plasterboard, as soon as you put that screw in, where's your moisture resistance gone? The best thing to use is this Elements insulated waterproof board. Now this has got several advantages. One is that it's got great bond strength. Because this is cement based this surface, it's an ideal surface for putting tiles onto and it can actually support 62 kilos per square meter of tiles, which is a hell of a lot. But it's also insulated, which gives you a better U value, but more importantly, it cuts down on condensation by warming up the surface area of those tiles, if you like, it means that you don't have that same level of condensation. And of course, condensation is the number one destroyer of bathrooms. It really is a major problem. Cut out the condensation and the bathroom will look better for longer. It's easy to use, it's easy to cut, it's easy to fix, and of course, it's incredibly lightweight. want to overboard this floor because you don't want to tile onto chipboard or anything like that now 10 millimeter elements board and that means that we could just bed that down on this KST adhesive we can take out any undulations we could even build it up by 50 millimeters to take a dip out of the floor and it gives much better adhesion to the tiles it's stable it won't lift and also it's got good insulating properties so if you're using under tile heating it's going to give a much faster warm up to the tiles the heat's going to come up rather than going down so it's a win-win all the way around Now the adhesive has gone off, it normally takes three or four hours, but it's gone off a bit faster today because it's quite warm, and now I can mechanically fix it. So now I've got the floor boarded through, I just want to go around and tape all the joints, and especially the ones in the critical areas where we're in the shower, we need to be using this neoprene, totally waterproof, flexible tape. Now people talk about waterproof plasterboard and all those kind of things, all very well until you put a hole in it or a joint, and then that's a path for the moisture to get through. So this way, we make sure that every single area where it would be possible for any moisture to get through, if the grout broke down and there was water getting in, we make sure they're all sealed off. For the other areas where we don't need to worry about the sort of critical moisture ingress, we can use this alkali resistant scrim tape, which is a standard sort of scrim tape that you might see plastering, and we put that over all the other joints. So now you can see that the first fix is really complete now and we've got all this area in the wet area around the shower covered with a neoprene tape that's totally waterproof and this area is covered with a scrim and all. Awesome. 